Hey my beautiful Virgos and welcome to your 7th of October reading. So your daily reading for the 7th of the magic month. I do have um, some deals on my website, for especially for Halloween. One will be taken off on the 31st. Um, so you can go and find that at divinelygardenwithlove.com or in the description box below my link to my website is there. So I'm going to get you one from the daily gardens. And we have Law of Attraction. I can't remember who else got this. Law of Attraction. Sorry, I've got a light beam going across my face. Oh, I'm a star seed. Um, each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends. So invest wisely. Be careful with your thoughts today because you are working with the laws of attraction. You are manifesting. So you want to manifest from a place of a higher frequency. So you have the power to choose your thoughts and align them with love peace and harmony at your request we will gladly attune your energies to a higher frequency so if you've been thinking down if you've been feeling down sorry i've got a cough <coughs> i had a bad chest last week and it's still a little bit there so please forgive me for coughing and spluttering on camera um so if you've been having negative thoughts about yourself or about, you know, about anything in itself, if you've been, you know, it's about changing them thoughts to a higher frequency, to a higher vibration, um, because you are manifesting. So your thoughts are creating your reality right now. So we need to attune upwards. And what they're saying is, if you ask at your request, we will gladly help you attune. But the divine cannot intervene. They cannot interfere unless asked. So it's basically, stand there, hands wide open. Be ready to receive. Say, I am ready. Attune me up. Right, raise my vibe, <laughs> you know. You've got to use your words. Use your words. Right, so we want free from the empowerment deck for my... Virgos. Sorry, I'm watching my cat. Everybody who knows Zeus knows he's quite naughty and he's looking at me. He's sat there looking at me and I feel like he's going to come and attack my cards or something. I don't trust him. <laughs> so we have karma. So we've got karma there and I feel like the laws of attraction is saying, you know, karmically, we get what we put out. So if we're thinking negatively, we're going to receive negativity. It's like learning the laws of balance, you know. <coughs> and then you got drained. So you may be feeling a bit drained at the moment. You may be feeling like everybody wants a piece of you or there's not enough of you to go around. You know, you may be tired, life feeling a bit mundane. So I do feel like emotions and thoughts are being drained. And that's why they're saying be very careful with your thoughts because you are working with the law of attraction. We've got to find a way of like kind of raising your vibe. Yes, see. Because not every rain cloud is always going to stay. So today could have been a day, or maybe yesterday, the last few days, where you've kind of been in your head and thinking about things that you haven't got or thinking about the negative times in life, that type of thing. And what they're saying is, there's always something good to be found. A rain the rain cloud cannot stay there forever. It's going to move on, you know. So it's about bringing your thoughts in and thinking, do you know what? Tomorrow is a new day. Getting up in the morning. Today is a new day. We can do this. You know, it's about giving yourself that kind of like kick up the butt and thinking, do you know what? I am the master of my own destiny. So we've got healing the inner child. There could be some mirror work going on as well. So you could be going inwards. Um, mirror work, affirmations, that type of thing. So you are going through a healing, but healing the inner child, the inner child needs fun. In order to get to your energy, the Ace of Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. You know, it's about you getting back to you. All this reading is about you getting back to you. And the rainy days can't last forever. They can't last forever because you 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 are manifesting better. So with, you've, you've also got the Ace of Air as well. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You may have strong Gemini, Libra, placement, uh, Gemini, Libra Aquarius placements. Or you may have been dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But to me, this is about fragments of the mind. I feel like you are kind of doing a soul retrieval so yeah your emotions may be feeling like a, a roller coaster at the moment but it's all happening for a reason because you're manifesting you're working from the laws of attraction so you're kind of realizing what you don't want and what you do want it's a powerful thing to be you know it's a powerful place to be especially when you're owning your own energy you know some of you could be dealing with like financial laws that type of thing if we're in a lack mentality i don't have enough of you're basically telling the universe that you're in that energy of never having enough of if you are happy for having an extra fiber in your purse you know, you know that type of thing um 
it's almost like you're putting out that attitude of gratitude in order to bring in more, you know. I've got abundance. I'm bringing in abundance, whether it's love, finances, whatever it is. It's about coming out of that drained energy, changing your thought, thought concepts, doing a bit of manifestational work, journaling, affirmations, mirror work, changing your frequency is going to change your life. So I hope that helps. Okay, bye.